Hello fellow plot questers, it's Iron the Plot Quester, and today we got the Republic of Plato, and I'm gonna talk about chapter 1 of Republic of Plato because I haven't read the whole thing yet, but just book 1 is worthy of having its own thing in my opinion, so here we go. So the first thing is, the first guy, uh, basically the first book of Plato is mostly about defining justice, or starting to define justice anyway, Socrates really doesn't put up his opinion yet, and the first guy says justice following laws and being honest, which is like the most basic definition of justice of all time, and basically Socrates counters this by saying that uh, you might steal a knife from a madman, and you would have the legal obligation to give that madman the knife back, but the madman might kill someone with a knife, so is that really justice? Not really, so that that first one kind of got roasted. And the guy too kind of went, oh, um, it means that we need to help our friends and harm our enemies. And Socrates said that since our judgment might be wrong, our enemies isn't necessarily evil and our friends aren't necessarily good, therefore it is bad to do this. And uh, for me, I, counter, I kind of counter argument is, um, what if, what if instead of friend and enemies, we said good and bad? But then Socrates would probably pull it into a mud fight of what the frick does good or bad means, which would be like a 16-page essay via Socrates. And I guess since this is written by Plato, no one really knows if this is Socrates talking or Plato talking. But I don't know, I don't really care. So yeah, that's what's going on. And the third guy is the guy that I like, the pessimistic, realistic, logical, logical guy who said, Justice is simply the advantage of the stronger. And I really like that because it's realistic. And Socrates kind of, and, and that's why he says, oh, we should like destroy the concept of justice completely. And I kind of agree with that. Like, I think justice is an interesting ideological concept that we all need to sort of keep in mind and try to keep our moral obligations to justice. However, I don't think it's a realistic concept that we can really adhere in this world. Because honestly, any kind of justice comes with the side coin, like injustice. For example, if you want to move something, then there's always going to be a scratch on the ground or some sort of noise is going to do something, right? If you want to make justice completely happen, then there's going to be always an injustice, like a side effect for your think of justice, which is why justice is really impossible unless we say that we don't do justice at all or any kind of law system. So it's a free-for-all for everyone, which obviously wouldn't follow the concept of justice. And uh, I, and perhaps I think maybe we can divide justice into the ideological and the realistic part. The realistic part is that justice isn't really justice, nothing is really just, and in our real world, there's no such real thing as justice. And yes, it is pretty much the advantage of the stronger, the stronger people, or the government, or the king, or the or the um or the more money or people they just get their lawyers they just get their judges they just do their bribes or get a legit lawyer and sue whatever they use this judicial system this law system to their advantage and it is indeed an advantage for the stronger justice is just an excuse for that a lot of the time realistically ideologically justice is something that everyone is happy about and serves everyone right and um, I think this is why Sandal kind of went, yeah, so justice can never truly be defined and it's, it depends on a person and he's right because justice is a little bit of a frick. Because justice is a little bit of a very annoying subject because it's different for every single person. It's undefinable, yet we know we get the gist of what it is, yet that gist can never be clear. It's hilarious. The only thing that we can truly say is that justice is supposed to punish evil, almost? I don't know, man. Because the thing is, when we go evil, then what what is evil? We can't define that. Like, it depends on the person as well. So it's like, it falls into this large rabbit hole of undefinable and depends on person until there's no end. And that's called the rabbit hole of philosophy. And it's, it's undefinable, so that's what happened so far. I'm kind of excited to learn what Socrates slash Plato's opinion on justice actually is because they haven't really, uh, Socrates slash Plato hasn't really said a thing about his definition of justice, but he has countered everyone else's, which makes me think that maybe he does have an inkling of an opinion coming up within his mind, which I am excited to hear because I really don't have any idea of what he's going to say, so it, it'll be a pleasant surprise. And that's pretty much it. That is the Plato Republic book one. 
And yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of all I have to say about it, because it is, after all, book one. It's not the entire book. So yeah, Republic of Plato. I'll probably have a part two or part three to this for book two, book three, and the rest of the books. Hopefully, um, I don't have to read all of them because they're really annoying, but I might need to if for the books, for the video. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope that helped with your book report or your or your whatever, or your homework, or whatever, that would be pretty cool, it would be, that would make me happy, and have a great day, so, goodbye.